Welcome to Almost Heaven, West Virginia. We are Mountaineer Robotics, a multidisciplinary team of undergraduates at West Virginia University. We are excited to unveil our 2020 University Rover Challenge entry, Mateo, Mountaineer Autonomous Traversal and Environmental Operations. With our past rovers as learning experiences, many of our design choices this year aim to minimize the number of moving parts on board the rover. Mateo is built with a rigid aluminum chassis and trapezoidal shell. Each of Mateo's 49 centimeter tires is driven by a brushed DC motor. The tires are affixed directly to their motors by steel transmission shafts, giving Mateo an excellent skid steering system. For power, Mateo uses three 40 volt batteries as well as two 12 volt batteries. Power to the entire system can be stopped at once by depressing the emergency stop button. Rover communications run on both 2.4 gigahertz and 900 megahertz channels. A network is automatically configured when all four radios are powered by 24 volt power over ethernet. At the base station, a custom user interface allows operators to visualize the collected data in charts and graphs, as well as switch between camera streams, all from up to one kilometer away. For the equipment servicing mission, we have constructed a one meter lift and high precision arm. Controlled by a joystick and inverse kinematics, this arm provides operators with six degrees of freedom. This arm's end effector is a lead screw actuated four bar gripper. The end effector complies around cylindrical objects and its tips are coated in polyurethane to increase gripping force. In addition, a hook is attached to the base of the arm for lifting objects up to 5 kilograms. For the science mission, we are reusing the lift system from our equipment servicing arm. The vertical lift deploys a linear actuated scoop into the soil, which is collected in a rotating carousel beneath the rover. The soil is first observed through a microscope, then immediately tested for temperature and moisture to determine if simple organisms could survive. The sample's pH level is also tested, as pH is a strong indicator of soil habitability. Acetic acid is then added to the sample, which is monitored by a real-time CO2 sensor. If carbonates are present in the sample, the base station will observe a sharp increase in carbon dioxide emissions, indicating that neutral to alkaline water, favorable to life, was present. For large rocks, inspection under webcam and microscope can show colors, layers, and other features that could help identify minerals present in the sample. If gypsum or halide is found, UV light may reveal the presence of organic materials within the mineral. For the extreme retrieval mission, Mateo's lift system is swapped for a 3 degree of freedom arm. Controlled by two linear actuators and a DC worm motor, this arm is capable of reaching 15 centimeters below and 30 centimeters in front of the chassis. This arm's end effector is designed to maintain grip strength while traversing rugged terrain, and the rover's low center of gravity helps it remain wheels down on steep inclines. Mateo is programmed primarily with C++ and Python, running on Ubuntu and ROS. Individual services, such as sensors and cameras, run on their own ROS nodes. During the autonomy mission, an operator inputs a GPS coordinate and its uncertainty into the base station computer. From there, Mateo is controlled by a state machine. Mateo begins by driving toward the given coordinate, entering obstacle avoidance mode if triggered by LiDAR point cloud data. An EKF helps the rover maintain its heading, even on rugged terrain. Mateo is outfitted with four wide-angle cameras, each of which can reliably detect AR tags up to 10 meters away. If the rover arrives at a GPS coordinate without detecting a marker, it uses a Gaussian function to generate a search path over the surrounding area. Mountaineer Robotics is excited to unveil the progress we've made on Mateo, and we hope country roads take us home to the Mars Desert Research Station in May. Thank you for your consideration.